Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, content Hub is a platform where it, I mean, it unifies all the content process, creation process like creation, collaboration, uh, production, everything. So this is a platform provided by Sitecore, which is actually acquired from uh, a company called Style Labs, <clears throat> later marketed as a Sitecore Content Hub. And uh, this is not recent acqu acquisition, this is like few years back. And uh, there are a lot of implementations out there on this uh, kind of right now in Sidecore world. So, and uh, in 2021, Sidecore has launched uh, two new certifications related to this, uh, which is Sidecore admin, uh, Content Hub Admin and Content Hub uh, Developer. If you want to know more information about uh, Sitecore Content Hub Admin exam, please watch my previous video. I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the link in the description. But in this video, we'll let's have a look at uh, Sitecore Content Hub Developer exam. So all the relevant information around that. And again, it's uh, more or less similar lines with uh, normal Sitecore exams. And uh, but this is exam has more questions like. Duration is 120 minutes to two hours and uh, and length is 60 questions and all multiple choice. No negative marks and pass is 80% like all the other exams. And um, fees is $350. And again, if you are working for a, a partner company, you can avail 70% discount. And uh, registration process. Yeah, for this exam, little difficult, a uh, little different. Uh, compared to normal site code developer exam uh, so you buy the voucher at learning.sitecode.com then you get access to study guide which is like in depth in in depth topics what are the topics would be part of the certification exam and uh, relevant links then you get also you get access to the around 10 practice questions uh, I, I don't remember exact number but around 10 10 practice 10 practice questions and uh, lastly you get a voucher code so you need to use that voucher code and redeem that in the Criterion Web Assessor. So you go to the Criterion Web Assessor where you schedule the exam and uh, when you try to buy, it will show that cart only contains uh, voucher exams, voucher only exams. Because this voucher code, you need to get it from learning.sitecode.com. So you don't, you cannot buy or you need to buy in the Criterion website. If you are logged in with a partner account like me, I am working with a company called AKQA. So a platinum partner. So when I'm logging with a partner account, then um, I'm able to, uh, the discount will be automatically applied. But if you're not uh, logging with partner account and you have a partner code, then there is a below coupon uh, code place would be there. You can apply there and you will get the discount. So that's how you can book the exam or you can buy the exam and book the slot here let's look at uh, competencies what are the exam topics so this is interesting if you are like writing content of developer exam that means you are also preparing for admin exam because there are 18 competencies or 18 broad level topics are there for developer exam in that among 18 12 are for admin and only six are for developer so if you have written already content of admin exam, then you might have already prepared for this 12. So 12 competencies, which are admin specific competencies. And you might, if you have already written that exam, then no need to prepare again differently for this exam because more or less similar kind of questions will come for the admin competencies. You only need to prepare developer specific. Obviously, if you are not writing admin exam, you are directly writing developer exam, you have to prepare for all the 18 topics. So this 12 topics are similar, uh, I mean, same admin exam, like schema, UI, branding, media, DRM, import and export, security related, all these things. More or less, there are like no, no code is involved in this. But when we come to developer competencies, you can see here all it comes with the scripts, components, um, code, actions, all these things. So these are more like code intensive. So uh, everything you will be doing in the um, content of internally only and also you can trigger from outside or you can consume them from REST APIs. Um, 
web scripts, all these things are there, web client SDK, all, the, all of this. So everything related to code is involved in this dev competencies, six of them. And uh, as it is 18, so I would say like, I, I can't pinpoint exact numbers if I remember, maybe 35, 40 questions are from uh, admin exam, uh, sorry, that admin competencies. Um, I mean out of 60, 35 something around that, maybe 20 to 25 are from uh, uh, dev competencies. So, and again, I, I do suggest like if you are, I mean, if you have a feasibility and you are working for a partner company and you are writing, then I would suggest, okay, go for the admin exam if your company is reimbursing it. So go for admin exam so that you don't need to have like prepare dev, first you can solely prepare on the admin competencies and clear that exam then you have a very good uh, confidence and you already saw the questions how the exam uh, pattern will be how the questions will be what kind of a questions they ask then it would be much easier for you to prepare dev, dev competency uh, i wrote both the exams back to back in in a week like one weekend i wrote um, uh, admin exam and second weekend uh, i wrote uh, dev uh, dev exam uh, it was okay. It was it was easy for me uh, as I wrote admin exam first. So twelve competencies already covered. Then only I need to cover that um, six competencies for dev. So but if you are like shelling out your own money and you are paying from your own pocket, I would suggest okay go for a dev exam because the dev covers like both the certification. There's like no extra credit or something like okay I'm admin and developer. If you are developer certified, that means as good as you are admin certified as well. And uh, study guide and preparation, it is pretty much similar to admin exam because uh, you need to go through the official trainings, which is available at uh, learning.sitecode.com. And again, if you are from partner company, those all learnings would be free. Um, and only and again, if you are working for a partner company, you might get you might be having some sandbox internally, so you can use that sandbox as a Sitecore Content Hub is a SaaS based platform. You cannot install in your local and do practicals. You need a sandbox. So please reach out to your team for a sandbox. Uh, but if you are from outside, I mean, you're learning on your own, then you have to reach out to Sidecore and buy that uh, sandbox, trial sandbox. So you get around, um, that sandbox is for around $350 per month. But if you are uh, only using it for some time and shutting off only again, enabling it for until, I mean, for the practicals, then it will be much lesser. So monthly bill. Otherwise, if you are running for full month, it might be around $350. So you don't need like full month extensive like day in and day out preparation on i mean on the sandbox because you would be learning and parallelly whenever you get a chance you do the practicals and um, uh, for the training if at all you want to go for free training there is a sidecore essential it, although it does not cover fully but it gives you overview of uh, sidecore content up there's like sidecore essentials is all the platforms in the sidecore um, uh, brief introductions and uh, all these things will be there this is free for everyone and uh, personally, I relate completely on documentation. Uh, it's still on the doc style labs. User documentation is for the admin. All the admin related things will be there. And uh, for developer, this is all integrations. So exam is on uh, version 3.4. And uh, uh, questions might be a little tricky. Please be careful while doing practicals as well. Like. Uh, uh, external components, how you can configure them and what all the scripts are available, what all the scripting you can do there and uh, how you can trigger action scripts, um, uh, how you can configure them and what all things you can do, how, I mean outside what all things you can call, whether API call or any other uh, Azure integrations, all these things, a lot of questions and also need to understand um, how they all related m.asset which is asset defi entity definition and um, how these all map together. So if you want to generate reports, how you will do it. Uh, so a lot of the, and again, you need to be well versed with REST API. So all these things. So please do enough practicals as well as you want, try to understand how the behind things are working. If you have any more questions, please do reach out to me. Um, and I mostly relied on uh, official training and official documentation. I've not gone through anything outside. Uh, there are like not much material available outside as well. 
although i did cover some of the um, um, web client sdk material uh, although they didn't ask explicitly web client sdk questions but uh, this sdk is also applies to the um, action scripts so whatever we write uh, action script internally so those also use similar kind of a um, um, api model so that so when you learn that then that can be covered so but you need to cover triggers action scripts what all things you can call how all these things work together what are the logging mechanisms and how you can uh, map uh, one to many relations all these things would be covered so yeah uh, once again do reach out to me if you have any more questions so otherwise all the best for your exam